Bitcoin has been surging. Let's bring in Jay Greenbaum. He's a crypto trader. Good to have you with us. And what's the catalyst behind this move? So there's a couple catalysts that are leading this run up. And the main catalyst was the Bitcoin halving that happened in May. Everyone was talking about what would the halving do. And now we've seen exactly what it does. By reducing the supply of Bitcoin that are produced in every block, which happens every 10 minutes, by 50%, we've reduced the inflationary rate of Bitcoin by 50% this year. By doing so, fantastic, supply is reduced. But at the same time, institutional buyers like Grayscale Investment Trust have been coming in and buying up every single newly minted coin. So the uh, supply that's being minted now is being completely consumed by the new investment groups coming in. So right now we have demand quickly outpacing supply only with institutional money. That's not with any other, um, that's not with the next FOMO run up. So it's very exciting to see what's happening with just institutional money coming into the space because next is the, the normal people's money. What are you doing with Bitcoin right now? Would you buy it, sell it, trade it? Personally, I'm a holder. But if you're interested in getting into the space, obviously Bitcoin and Ethereum are the easiest cryptocurrencies to go with. Bitcoin is within 15%, about 12% of its all-time high right now. So I would be careful going with Bitcoin because, yes, I do think Bitcoin's the safest option for a long-term return if we're talking two, three, five years. But for those who are more in a gambling mindset or looking for a what's going to be the next quickest return, I'm thinking Ethereum because Ethereum has Ethereum 2.0 coming out, which includes staking, which is a new method to earn interest while holding Ethereum. And it's also 40% of its all-time high. So Ethereum is the number two cryptocurrency, Bitcoin being number one, Bitcoin within 15% of all time high, Ethereum 60%. So if Bitcoin moves 15% and Ethereum moves 60%, which one would you rather ride? Personally, I'd like to go with Ethereum. Well, thank you very much, Jake. Of course, be well. For more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, and go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.